let's talk, all right? They start moving real weird and real crazy, real crazy. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you. The baby, the bath water, I'm burnt everything. I don't want it no more. me but you look so good to me hey girls I am what a day <laughs> what a day what a day what a day hey girls what's today Saturday the Today is Saturday the 23rd. Man, oh man, what a hectic couple of days it has been. Um, I haven't picked y'all up in a couple of days. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. My bad, y'all, but it's my reality. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't seem that way to y'all, but to me it's kind of like, oh, it's been another couple of days. It's been another couple of days, and I feel like the need to say it. I'm gonna try to work on not having to say that to y'all every single time. But anyhow, I just literally just came from Best Buy right now. I probably should have took my camera in with me, but I was, um, I just had to drop off my desktop, my Mac, cause it, it, I, I, I screwed it up. Basically, I had to take it to the Geek Squad um, last week, early last week, last weekend when I was editing y'all, um, it kept on telling me like insufficient disk space, insufficient disk space, and I don't understand why, cause I like, I keep on clearing it, I don't have anything saved on it, specifically because I know that I'm gonna be doing a lot of work with y'all, or whatever. Um, well I'm gonna be like increasing my work with y'all, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so I took it upon myself to say, oh, okay, I'm just gonna factory reset it. I couldn't find the factory reset button or like where it is after I Googled it. Finally, after doing all this Googling, 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 I found some kind of way to reset it, factory reset it. Child, come to find out, the lady told me today that I done deleted the whole software from the computer, so the shit is like just a box at this point. Um, so she's gonna fix it for me. I'm a little bit annoyed that's gonna take four days. I should have dropped it off to her since last week, but my weeks are my weekdays are kind of crazy nowadays, y'all. Um, because of like school or whatever. Um, I also before that I went to a funeral this morning. Really, really, really sad. A friend of mine died. Um, really, really sad. A friend of mine passed away, and it was you know it's just really really sad um i think i may have i don't know if i left that part in the vlog the day i found out because i was definitely talking to y'all when i found out that he had passed um and i just feel so terrible for him my like i just my heart just hurts for him you know but um, other than that, we are on our way to the Casa. Um, even though I don't have my computer, thank God I did take the initiative and go to my mom's house to kind of clear my memory card. Um, and that kind of put in perspective, I might need to buy a new, um, a second memory card. Because like in situations like this, like I don't want to have to, like I had to like legit Thank God I remembered to do it or I wouldn't be able to vlog with y'all. I think that's why I didn't vlog like the other day or whatever because like I didn't have any more space on my camera and I tried to vlog with y'all. Well, I shouldn't say vlog. I tried to talk to y'all. Um, yeah. Heading back home. I should be home in about 20 minutes or so. Can I just tell y'all? Okay, so let's talk, all right? Last night, y'all, okay, all right, let me get too high, let me not get too high. I don't understand what's in the water. I'm finna just give up when it comes to like the topic of 
men in Massachusetts, men, I don't know why I say men in general, maybe just men in Massachusetts, I'm throwing in the towel. I'm just throwing in the goddamn towel, y'all, the whole thing. The baby, the bath water, a burnt, everything. I don't want it, no more. Y'all, so yesterday, so okay, so last night, first off, your girl went on a little date or whatever, and just as suspected, you know, I'm not really feeling the whole vibe, the whole situation or whatever. And it's just like, let me take my time. I feel like I get like so excited to talk to y'all sometimes, you know what I mean? And like, I just can't get the words out because I'm just so, there's just so much going through my head at once. <laughs> so, okay. Calm down, girl. Woo-sa. So, this little date that I went to, y'all know I really love my little Haitians or whatever. I love my Haitian men. I do. They ain't shit, but I love them. I love them niggas so much. So, um, like, it's just a je ne sais quoi. You know what I mean? Like, they just, I just can't imagine, like, legitimately having genuine feelings for another race like what does that mean like we don't like the jokes aren't the same you know what i mean the vibes aren't the same like you know what i mean like when i want to break into my little creole and act like i'm a haitian like, i can't do that with another race do you know what i mean i want to raise haitian babies you know what i mean i want full-blooded haitian babies I don't know, I, 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 you know, it's just really, 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 really hard. The dating scene is really, really, really hard for me. Um, and I just don't quite understand why. Um, you know, okay. It's like the men that are, that I'm attracted to, we'll say, are either married um, or they have a couple kids, which is, I'm, I'm not really into it that much, um, like, at all, and then they, or they're just players, you know what I mean? Um, like, but the guys that are attracted to me are just not, and I feel like it sounds crazy to say they're not on my caliber. Like that's a wild thing to say, right? I Like you shouldn't be speaking about people that way. I don't feel that way about people in general. Like who the hell am I? I'm just a regular, regular girl that is just trying to get in where I fit in. Do you know what I mean? But like these men, they, they like the ones that are more attracted to me. I find are the ones that um, they don't really have anything measurable. I'll say to offer. Um, it's just fluff. They just want me because they are attracted to me. They don't, you know, it's not like, like they don't care to find out who I am. They, I love you, I love you, I love you. Like the guy that I went out with last night, for instance, he is dead ass set. Like this is our second time meeting, okay? We, the initial time that we even ever met in person was actually really, really quick in passing. Y'all, and I made the mistake and I got the vibe. I should not give my number. See, my problem is because I feel like I also need to be the girl that's like open to a relationship and open to the possibility of like meeting somebody decent and like, you know, not judging a book by its cover. So if somebody that looks seemingly, you know, half decent asks me for my number, I tend to give it out. Even though I already, there's something in me that like, 
I just feel a vibe. I, it's the woman's intuition. I just feel a vibe and I already know you want some BS that I'm just not interested in, right? Well, like whatever time you on is not the time that I'm on. And I knew this from the dude. Right out the gate. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Gave dude my number anyways. Stupid. Then I decided, and that's so okay, boom. He's texting here and there, how are you, da 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 da. Then it turns into all of a sudden within a couple days of texting, oh my God, I can't stop thinking about you. You on my mind. I adore you. I this, I that. I see myself with you. Da 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 how, sir? How? You do not know me. You don't even know how to spell my name. I promise you don't know how to spell my name because everybody spells my name wrong and it drives me insane. So, like, it's weird to me. You don't know my name. You could find out my name, right? Because, I mean, a lot of the thing is out here to about Boston, when it comes to, like, the Haitian community or whatever, at least, like, the local people of the Haitian community like in my area whatever or like where I used to be at they all know me everybody knows me of me I'll say everybody knows of me I don't know anybody anymore do you know what I mean so like you could easily find out a little bit about me of course there's gonna be some fabrication and some BS whatever but dude how are you telling me you love me and you adore me and you want to see yourself with me or whatever and you don't even know what's my middle name What's my middle name? You haven't seen me start to act up yet. You haven't seen me like in a miserable mood and like, you know what I mean? And give you like, you haven't seen nothing about me. You don't know how I act when I'm upset, when I'm this, when I'm that. You don't know how loud I get when I'm excited. You might not like that shit. I'm loud as hell. Like when I'm comfortable, I get <laughs> You know, I, I, I a little ridiculous sometimes from here and there i'm a silly goofy girl right but like i feel like i present when you see me in the street i present like you know calm collected and whatever whatever i'm a wild child you know what i mean you cannot tell me you love me just off of seeing me out and about like you know what i mean on a regular day and just decide like yo that's my love and then you try to insist that i be with you and love like even if you feel that way i bet maybe it's the lord speaking to you whatever i don't know how these men's hearts are you know what i mean so i'm not gonna say it's not real love but you can't like tell me now that we about to finna be together whatever and i need to accept that we are about to be together that's wild hello 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 thank you y'all know what i'm saying like it's just crazy to me it's just really, really insane. So, like, the guy, we're there, we're sitting down, and the whole entire time, y'all, at the restaurant, he took me to this little spot um, out in Malden that I really like, Exchange Street Bistro. I haven't been there in ages. I think I told y'all that I really haven't been wanting and dining myself. I used to go out to restaurants all the time by myself. And I just haven't done it in a while because... Um, because I'm um, broke. <laughs> I, I just don't got it. You know what I mean? Like, even like, I've never been the type to wait on a man to kind of take me out on a date or whatever the case is. I just kind of, um, I have no problem going out, picking a restaurant, picking a spot, and dropping like 200 bucks, 100. Well, I, don't, I never spent $200 on myself. That must be a wild meal. I haven't went to like those kind of up, up places yet, but I could spend like a good one. I think I spent like a bunch of about 150. More of the stories, I'm not afraid to spend some money on myself, right? So I was excited to go to um, this little restaurant with him. Cause I haven't been out to eat in a long time. Like guys don't approach me, guys don't ask to take me out. It's so weird, y'all. So um we're there or whatever, and I'm trying to like engage and like trying to like get to know you a little bit and this and that. Okay. So respectfully. Respect, we, we being respectful because I told y'all how I feel about my Haitians, right? Like, I love them niggas. 
he doesn't speak much English. And I know a lot of the girls are like, we saw Moon Biden. You know Moon Biden, you know. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. My Haitians know what I'm talking about. So we, um, and you know, I'm trying to kind of be like, I know that that is not the vibe that's going to work for me. Like somebody that needs, that's basically starting from like zero, like point A negative a to grow granted obviously people progress and grow whatever the case is but i don't think i'm the type of person i could be wrong but i don't think i'm the type of person that's good that that can nourish a person's growth from point zero do you know what i mean it's just me my preference I, I, I can't say it's a preference. I just, I, I, I don't know if I have that much in me. I would love to, but I try. I do try. I, it's not the first guy that I've went on a date with that whose English is like really, really shaky. Thank God, like my Creole is decent. Um, it's not where I would love it to be, but it's decent enough. You know what I mean? So we are able to make it work. Whatever. I kind of get off topic. So we're talking, whatever, and I'm trying to, first of all, we get there, do sits on my hip, okay? Like, on me. <laughs> and I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, but I thought you were supposed to sit, like, across from me, right? It's our first time really, really seeing each other for real, you know what I mean? But you, you literally damn near sitting on top of me. I bet you excited. You know, I bet you excited. We'll say that you excited. We're talking, we're talking, we're talking, and the whole entire time, you guys, this man is legit just trying to convince me how he is just so catering and this and that. He's gonna cater to my needs and do this for me and do that for me. A whole bunch of unrealistic stuff it's just not realistic you know what i mean i it sounds good to the girl that's like kind of in la la land me my younger self would fall for the bullshit in a second without hesit i wouldn't hesitate to fall for the bullshit but like me now in my like i am damn near 36 years old i kind of understand things a little bit more granted i don't have the most experience Experience. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I don't have the most experience with like legitimate guys that are legitimately interested in you and like doing like what they're supposed to do, right? I really don't have that much. But what I have learned over the years is if somebody's telling you like this dude at one point, this is before we linked up on the he sent me a voice note. You know, my Haitians love WhatsApp boy. So he got me on WhatsApp, you know, I'm email, I'm messaging him once in a while. I don't even answer like on a regular, I don't want to make it seem like it's something that it's not, right? So at one point he sends me a voice note talking about, oh, yeah, you know, I think I ended up saying like, yeah, I really, I had to wake up early this morning. I hate waking up in the morning, whatever, like really, really early. And he's like, oh, um he's like oh i will oh i wish that i was able to come and help and a lot of the things that he's saying is like a lot of moving in together being together and i suspect he's saying that because he knows i have my own spot i really need to find a way to stop mentioning that shit i feel like as soon as these men find out that i have my own place they start they start moving real weird and real crazy. Real crazy. So he's like, oh, yeah, I wish that I was there. If I was there with you or whatever, all you would have to do in the morning is um, take a shower. And I would have everything ready for you. Breakfast, your clothes laid out, and da 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 Girls. Where, where they do that at? Do y'all have a man that every day it just wants to be there to prep, yeah, prep you for work? I, 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 it just doesn't sound right to me. It don't sound realistic to me. Because how are you going to be there to serve me all the time while you got your own things to do too, right? I like to be realistic. And in my opinion, I feel like a, a, a relationship is a two-way street, right? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. But I'm not in no world, in me as a woman, right? 
in no world am I gonna tell you all you gotta do is wake up and take a shower and I'll take care of everything else. To the point where at the dinner table, dude was even doubling, damn near doubling down on it, talking about, oh yeah, you know, if you feeling tired and you sick or whatever, and you need to take a shower, but you too tired to take a shower, I'll, I'll wash you down. Basically talking about, they'll give me a sponge bath. What are you talking about? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? You're not gonna give me a sponge bath, dude. You're not, I, I know you're not, no. That's not how it is. And even if you were that kind of guy that what he's, I'm assuming what he's trying to say is that he would be there for me through, you know, good and bad and kind of do what he, but that's not how it, I don't know. I feel like he just, I, I feel like I'm not saying it right. I really do feel like I'm not saying it right, y'all. It was just a lot of smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. And I don't like that at all. Then, at the end of the night, while he's doing all this, right? This is before he starts saying he loved me. He starts saying on the phone, I adore you. I really adore you, Daphne. Da, da, da. I laugh. I think he gets upset when I start laughing. And he's like, why are you laughing? I'm like, because you don't adore me. How You don't know me. How do you adore me? No, Daphne, I'm not a liar. The, the type of person that I am. That I, mind, this is all in Creole, right? Because, you know, whatever. Um, no, the type of person that I am. You know, I've never been a liar. Everybody knows me. But that, whatever. If I tell you something, then that's what it is. And da 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 I adore you. Then it turns into, you know, I love you, Daphne. By the end of the night, it's... I love you, I really do love you. And I start laughing again, he didn't like that. He's upset. I love you, I really do, I'm not lying. Da, 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 da. Like that's not, that doesn't work for me. Laying it on that thick is a huge red flag. Massive red flag. Do you know what I mean, y'all? I don't know, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, y'all. Um, I don't know. I still have to find the words to finish off my little story with y'all, but I want to show you my little outfit. I guess this will be my first time doing a little outfit check kind of thing. How do I look on camera? I don't know. So, I really, really like this dress. I think I would call this like my little funeral dress or whatever. I have, um wore this twice to two different situations already. And I like it a lot. And I really like it. What do y'all think about my little dress or whatever? Make me. And it goes like pretty long, not too short or whatever. Then I had my little coat on. Hold on, let me turn the stove, y'all. So I can heat up some food. I'm starving. So I'll show y'all. This is my little coat that I had on. You know what I mean? So this was the vibe today. At my homies. I can't even believe I'm saying those words, y'all. This shit's crazy. Y'all, after I left, like, even, like, before I left the cemetery, when I got into my car, I, um, tell me what, is it weird that I kind of checked my phone to make sure, like, yo, he dead ass not answering my text. Like, it's wild that he's not going to be answering me anymore. He always answers me. You know, it just kind of breaks my heart a little bit. But I made sure I looked nice for him. He would love it. He would absolutely love it. I had my hair kind of, um, I'll show y'all how I had my hair the whole time. Cause for some reason I felt like, I need, I, I'm not feeling this hair anymore. I kinda gotta change it out. But what I did, I feel like for the look, sometimes I like my look, how I look with my hair kinda tied up. So I put it in like a little bun, like a little low bun. And of course I had to kinda pull it out a little bit to kinda, conceal my kitchen so this is 
what I look like. I think I look good, honey. I feel like I should have been able to, you know what I mean, bag me a little sign something. But these Boston men, I don't know if they just scary or they legitimately don't like me. I don't know why. Well, either way, y'all, I liked how I look. And I'm sure my friend would have liked it too. Mm. So, um, before I hang up with y'all, actually, I think I am going to for the night. I don't know. I don't know if I should get back into that whole story thing. It's just really, really like that whole situation. Right after I hung up with y'all, like two seconds ago, guess who was the first person? Guess who called me? Right after I hung up with y'all, like two seconds ago, right before this clip right here, guess who called me? As soon as I cut y'all off, guess who called me? Dude from last night. No, I didn't pick up. Cause I feel like all he's gonna do, how are you? Did you eat? Yeah, what are you doing? Make sure you eat. When am I gonna see you again? Am I gonna see you next week? I wanna see you next week. You're not working next week, I should be able to see you. Now you gonna tell me what I'm doing, nigga? It's not how it works. <sighs> we'll consider we'll con we'll continue this conversation about these men another time, y'all. And then like another thing, like I look damn good. I feel like I should have been able to bat me a little something something. <sighs> I'll hit y'all later. Hey y'all, I just came from a little restaurant thing. I decided to all of a sudden, I've been, well, let me start from the beginning. I went, speaking of dates earlier, I guess, <laughs> it's much later on in the day. It is, I don't know, my oven's going, so I don't know what time it is exactly. 
but um or i had a date like a couple months ago and he took me to this nigerian spot um a couple cities out out in Haverhill or whatever and um they have this red snapper out there um so i decided to today go and grab it so i went to go get it and i think i just showed you guys that and he was also raving about this thing called suya so i didn't try at the time with him um, but I am going to try for the first time tonight. So far it looks all right, I have a couple pieces or whatever. Seems all right, a little bit spicy. So I'm gonna heat that stuff up, sit down, enjoy that food for the night, um, get a couple other things done. And I just wanted to close y'all out for the day. Um, hopefully this is enough footage for the day. I don't really know what, how much I told y'all, what I said or whatever. Um, but yeah, we will parlay tomorrow. Hasta luego.